What's going on everybody? Adam here with eTrailer. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Koenig Premium Self-Tensioning Snow Tire Chains on our 2020 Ford Escape. With these chains, we're gonna get a really cool, aggressive look. I kinda of like the way they look. It's not your average tire chain, but really, really cool features that come along with it. We are gonna have a manganese nickel alloy steel construction, so it is going to resist against rust and corrosion over time, so they're gonna look good throughout the many seasons you will be using it. One thing I really like, I have some really nice rims on our Escape here. I wanna keep them nice. As you guys can see, we have nothing touching our rim and nothing really close to the rim either. So I don't think we're gonna have any issues hitting or damaging any of the wheels you may have on your Escape. Another thing to think about too, is just if it's gonna be SAE S-Class is certified, which it is, as you can see, we don't have a whole lot of wheel well clearance here. So having an S-Class compatible chain is something we need for the escape. One other thing that I like about it is the little design we have up here. It's made of plastic, but they do include some studs here. So they're not gonna really wear away that much over time. So this is gonna make most of the contact with the road. So those are gonna wear away before all this plastic does, but it is a really hard plastic and it should last a long time. It is gonna be a diamond pattern chain. It is gonna have dual sided D-links, relatively smaller D-links, which makes it S-Class compatible. And I really like that. Also what I like is they have icebreakers. So what an icebreaker is, it's just a big plate that goes across right here. And that's just gonna kind of break up all that ice that you may be driving over. And these are gonna be the little spring tensioners. We can remove them as needed to get the right fit. I like that just because this chain can really do a lot of stuff. All in all, definitely like the chain, it works. You have a couple of different things we need to do before we actually install them just to make sure they work right. But we're gonna go over that in the installation process. But you will have to do it twice, one on this side, one on the other side. They do come in a pair of two. They come in a great case. There's a couple canvas bags and stuff like that. This is literally the nicest case that we sell here at eTrailer, in my opinion. That's just my opinion, but it's really sturdy. It keeps them both nice and compact. And the nice thing about it is the chains really aren't that big. With ladder pattern chains, you just have this big, massive chains. You try to get it into one little bag. These are the chains. I really like that. They're tiny, compact, and that is something I look for in a chain. So really easy installation process, super quick, super easy, especially the taking it off portion. It's really, really easy, just like a little ratchet strap. So pretty much it's gonna be the installation process in reverse to get them off, but let's just go ahead and show you guys the installation process now. First things first, let's get the chains out of the bag. We do have a little bag in here with all the goodies that we're gonna need to install the chains. Hook and loop, keeps them all together, and we have a bunch of different stuff, and that is going to be useful further along in the installation. So now, set everything to the side. For now, now, and go ahead and just kind of lay them out. Make sure there's nothing wrong. Make sure there's no tangles or anything like that. And then what we need to do is go in the instructions, figure out what tire size that we have, and then that's gonna determine on how many of these little pegs that we're gonna remove. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the instructions and then we'll continue. Now we can go ahead and actually remove just one of these little sections here. It's got a little neon plastic piece there. So we just pick one of them. There is a decent amount of them on here, about four or so. So we're just gonna take the tools, one here, which is gonna go around the nut, and then one right here. We just need to take that off. And this is something that we're just gonna have to do initially. You take it out of the box, test this out in your garage. I highly recommend it just because once you set this up, all we're gonna have to do is just put them on our tires and tighten them down. So do the prep work now. So whenever you guys are stuck, we don't have to go through this process. So 
I usually just take these just in case and put them back in the bag so I don't lose them. We can set all that stuff down to the side. Next thing we need to figure out is gonna be this little section of the chains. So this one comes pre-installed and this is just gonna go over our lug nut. This is a spacer and this is a bolt. So we have different spacers, different bolts, and we have also some different lug nuts right here. These are gonna go over the lug nuts. We have different sizes just to accommodate for the different ones we have. So let's see if this fits. To determine if it fits, we wanna make sure we don't have a whole lot of play. That's not a whole lot of play. So I think we might be right on the money here, but always triple check, see if there's a better fit in the pack of four. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. It's nice that they give you options just because you can put these on multiple different cars if you really have the application for them. Too big. Next one, too big. Third one, if I can get it out. Too small. And the fourth and final one. Again, too small. So. The one that was already installed worked great for these tires. If you have the same tire size we have, you're just gonna go ahead and look right here. It's gonna be, this is a 225-65 R17. So if you do have that same exact tire size, you don't really have to worry about messing with all this. You can go ahead and just put it back in the bag right out of the box. So we're gonna use this. What we're gonna do is just start to get it up into place. Just kind of like that. Get these arms up and around the tires. We're only gonna get about three of them fully wrapped around, just because obviously the bottom isn't gonna go on because it's on the ground. But do your best to kind of put those into place. And then we can go ahead and take this little portion here Pick a lug nut to go over. Let me get it fitted on there. Any one's gonna work. And then we'll take our spacer and our bolt. And we can go ahead and thread that through. I wanna make sure this little red section here is gonna be facing out spacer on and they give us different spacers because of this right here we really want this plastic piece to be as close to our wheel as we can so we really don't need to use this bolt or the spacer so I'm gonna grab a shorter one and the shorter ones are gonna be marked with red and the spacer is gonna be red so this might fit a lot better and it does we're gonna start tightening that down just with your hands at first. I do not recommend power tools because we actually do have a tool that comes with the kit. Just make sure that this arrow is gonna be pointing towards the center of the tire. Right here, make sure that's rotated and stays in the center. So then, this is really cool actually. We have a little wrench here, but it's a torque wrench. So we don't have to worry about over tightening these which is definitely a plus. You can do a lot of damage if we did. So you can keep this in the little bag, put it in the back of the car. So once we get to a tight enough spot, you're gonna hear it click. All right, you guys heard that. So that is tight. Let's toss the tool to the side, and now we can continue. Now we can go ahead and start tightening it down, but before we do that, there's a couple things we need to make sure of. As you guys can see down here, I kind of have a little twist in my rope. So the nice thing about it is this does rotate. 
so we can get it nice and straight because it is kind of like a ratchet strap type up front here. And what we're really going to go for is just do, there's going to be a red line as we're tightening it down. We wanted that to be visible from the outside here. So just like a ratchet strap, start strapping it down. And just wait for that red little strip. There it is. It's coming. There we go. All right. So pretty much once that's in the center, now we can go ahead and just get in the car and roll over it a couple times. It should sink the rest of this chain around our tire. Now that we have them installed, we're pretty much ready to get unstuck and get back on the road. Again, these were the Koenig premium self-tensioning snow tire chains. I'm Adam with E-Trailer and it was on a 2020 Ford Escape.